It's time for the One Bar and Lepica Show, bringing you anything and everything Minnesota Vikings. Welcome to professional football. All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lepica Show. I'm One Bar, and in today's episode, you got it. We are talking special teams. I'm so excited. I mean, it is mid-June. What else is there to talk about but special teams? Before we get into that, remember, subscribe to the One Bar and Lepica Show. Like the videos. We're here every damn day. So special teams might not be sexy, but damn it, it has teeth. I mean, look at guys over the past. Heath Farwells, Chris Walsh's. I mean, Everson Griffin, he even started on special teams. Uh, so special teams um, is going to be a talker because the Vikings are losing some guys that we're, we're very used to seeing. Or I shouldn't say losing, lost. Very used to seeing out on special teams. Uh, Jerron Curse. Um, let's see. Anderson Deho, Kentrell Brothers. Eric Wilson still on the team, but with such an important role on this defense now, I, I'm guessing they probably won't be trotting him out there as much anyways. Um, so I want to look at some guys that could be filling in the shoes, could be the next round of guys that are going to be down there nabbing that ball in the one-yard line or giving someone an absolute shellacking as they catch that punt. Um, lucky for us, the Vikings do have a very thick rookie class, and not only a thick rookie class, but – a lot of guys that um, could fill that role could could be could make their mark could help them bump up the depth chart as they go like we saw with with other guys over the past um, so some guys that I really think will be stepping up in 2020 on special teams uh, Chris Boyd he played pretty damn good on special teams last year uh, he's probably going to have a larger role in the secondary but I expect him to be very very involved a guy that uh, could maybe take the spot of a J. Ron Curse out there um, making big plays. Other guys, you know, look at the rookie class, like I already said, Troy Dye, uh, while everybody hopes and dreams that he gets plunged into that starting linebacker spot, that is not going to happen. Eric Wilson's going to hold that down. So Troy Dye, this could be his bread and butter where, uh, where he really makes a splash, really helps him get on the field more. He's very speedy. He can lay a hit. So I think Troy Dye is going to be very involved in special teams. And then Brian Cole. Brian Cole is one of the Ross guys we took, uh, but what he does is lays the freaking wood. He could take that Sendejo role where he is laying hits, possibly making uh, opposing players crap themselves. I've seen this guy hit. It is not nice, and he was made for special teams. Um, a couple other guys. I mean, Harrison Hand. Harrison Hand, very versatile. He will be out there if he makes a squad. Fourth rounder, DJ Wanham. Um, depending on how they use him early, he could go the Everson Griffin route. He could be out there on special teams, and he could be making some hits. They love this guy. They're going to want him on the field. And if it's special teams, damn it, put him out there. And then Amir Abdullah. Amir Abdullah uh, came on last year as he was – God, do I say he was our best special teamer? Um, that is why he probably made the team. We kept a handful of running backs, and Abdullah was a surprise. And, man, was he not laying hits, getting balls. Uh, if he makes a team again, which I'm – counting on just for his special teams he again this will be a big part of his role so I know you've all been up late at night thinking about the Viking special teams and hopefully hearing some of these names um, will help you sleep easy tonight and this deep deep rookie class where everybody's like what the hell do we need 15 guys for well we need them for special teams and a lot of these guys are going to be showing up 